In this video, we're going to discuss skinning continuity and how using different types of continuity, say across a cross section, changes the way that your surface behaves in VSP. So we're using cross section one here, and let's switch to a none view so we can see these feature lines very clearly. Now on cross section one, and by default, C0 continuity is enforced, which simply means that the feature lines have to pass through the same point on the cross section. So you can't have one feature line come up here and another one pass from somewhere else. They have to go through the same point. But otherwise, we have access to all of the controls that we normally would when we've been skinning in these examples. So we can adjust, say, our angles, and we can adjust our strengths, and you know we can decide whether those are equal or completely dissimilar as we want. If we come in and change it to a C1 continuity, what this is saying is the direction and magnitude of that derivative vector across that point has to be equal on the before and after side. So you can control it from the before side and it just enforces that everything on the after side be equal. Now in this case, we can turn off symmetry and note that we still have access to the controls on the right, bottom, and left, and we can control all those things independently. We're just enforcing that it be continuous in the way that we've discussed. So for the time being, let's put that back to all, symmetri uh, all symmetric and snap back to our left-hand side. Now, an interesting behavior in VSP is that it builds the components from, say, the nose to the tail for a body type component, say a fuselage or a stack. So again, this is cross-section zero or your origin, one, two, three, etc. So it's building it in this direction. So our cross-section here, if we go to cross-section two, Note that I've enforced C1 continuity, but I have no control whatsoever over the angles, curvature, strengths, nothing. I've just defined that this curve must pass through this point. It must have the same angle on the before and after side and the same strength. But otherwise, that's all I'm controlling. So I can adjust the diameter. I can adjust my position. I can even adjust the rotation and it's going to pass those lines through that, but it's going to leave all the other controls up to VSP to solve the algorithm on its own. So it's just an interesting feature and an interesting artifact of how VSP solves these splines that you can take away all control of, say, the skinning angles and strengths and still have a continuous curve in C1 pass through it. So we've seen how it behaves if we have it in C1. If we turn it to C0, notice how now these angles are completely dissimilar and the strengths are different as well. So all we're saying is that it must pass through that point, but VSP doesn't care at all what the angles or strengths are. It's just going to enforce that it hits it. Okay, so let's come back, set that back to C1, and we are going to move this cross section back out where it was. So again, this is like enforcing that the skinning be satisfied for this condition as you've defined it, and it lofts through with a continuous slope and magnitude through this point. So that's a nice way to insert an inflection point in something like a nacelle. Now, if we want to do something like enforcing C2 continuity, that's enforcing the slope and magnitude of that direction derivative and the curvature vector be equal on the before and after side. So let's watch what happens if we set that. Now, because we've set this, it's forcing the curvature to be satisfied. But again, this out here only has C1 continuity. So we've enforced C2 to be constant through here. And then this point is just doing its best to satisfy this condition. So as we move this around, you can see how it changes the way that this cross section behaves. We come out here to cross section two, we move this around a little bit. We can get a bit more normal of a shape, but again, C1, C0, or trying to enforce C2 on two different sections, and then adjusting, say, the position, you're gonna to start to get some really weird shapes. So C2 continuity, just like trying to adjust curvature, is one of those things that you should really only use if you absolutely mean to. Otherwise, leverage C0 and C1 continuity to achieve your goal.